It's the Foreign Minister once again. Welcome to the Voice of America News Studios. Now, if I may ask you, what is the current relationship between Mogadishu and Nairobi following uh, the recent disagreement over refugees? I thought there, there is a recent agreement over refugees, not disagreement. Uh, the, uh, the relationship is warm. Uh, there are elements in our region that want to divide us, want to divide us between Kenyans and Somalis. They want to divide us between uh, Muslims and Christians. And there has been atrocities committed that has been committed in Somalia for the past five, six years. Now it's being committed against the, uh, the, the, the Republic of Kenya and the Kenyan people. So uh, we are in a, in a turbulent time. Uh, but the relationship is, is warm, maybe a little bit fussy. Right. You know, Kenya, we here um, want to build a wall between Somalia and, and Kenya because of the security issues that uh, the country faces at the moment. Will that undermine the warm diplomatic relations the two countries have enjoyed over the years? No, I, I think every country has the right to do what they want with their territory and build whatever they want to. The question that may be pertinent to me is, uh, would it solve the problem? Uh, because we in Somalia, uh, we believe that the, the boundaries should be open. Uh, uh, East Africa and the Horn of Africa should trade. Uh, people should uh, crisscross uh, and, and exchange uh, cultures and exchange education. And we need the... Uh, the the human resources of Kenya to come and and help us uh, rebuild Somalia. Uh, Kenyans were good to Somalis when we when we needed them most. Uh, a lot of businesses thrive. A lot of refugees are there who get a uh, uh, protection. So uh, I I think there is a lot of goodwill and good relationship to build on, uh, rather than to divide. But uh, needless to say, if a country, if any, where we are in, in the United States, they want to build a wall in, in, in the southern borders, and the wall is not the answer. Well, what is the partnership between your country and Kenya in fighting terrorism, especially uh, since both country, f countries face uh, or face um, the threat of al-Shabaab? Well, uh, the biggest partnership that uh, we have and you could have is that Kenyans send their uh, young men and women uh, to to help dispel uh, Al Shabaab from Kismayo and Barawe and and other places in in the Juba Valley? Uh, th that's a major contribution to the fight of uh, this immense of uh, regional uh, uh, to to liberate from the region and from the globe. Uh, I think we need to do more information sharing. I, I think we need to be uh, to be doing more talking and more surveillance and uh, work with our partners, with the United States, with the Europeans, uh, Ethiopians, Djibouti, uh, Burundians, the Ugandans are there. So I, I, you can ask more for people who send you uh, their their children to defend. What is the current position of your government in terms of taking the fight to Al-Shabaab? Because recently they've attacked certain aspect of the capital, Mogadishu, and some of your colleagues were even killed. How strong is the Somali army right now, bagged by the African Union or Army Som, to combat Al-Shabaab in Somalia? I, I think they, they're strong enough to kick out uh, Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab doesn't control anymore is what's of land. They don't have any more elaborate training centers. They don't have any more uh, bases to to come out and, uh, and and cause a lot of harm. What you see today in Al Shabaab is doing, and the, the ones who are similar to Al Shabaab, both in, in Somalia and Kenya, is looking for soft targets. How do you defend a hotel that's open for public? that's supposed to bring more people in. Business. A business. Mm -hmm. Right. And how do you defend a university? A university is a universal place uh, where children have to think and uh, be free and sleep when they want to and wake up when they want to and learn what they want to and oppose when, uh, governments when they want. Uh, so you, you're looking for uh, to cause the most damage to communities. 
but not to uh, to have an end in in itself. So I I don't think Al Shabab uh, is strong. Al Shabab is uh, uh, has uh, elements of it or all of it that uh, that want to cause harm mm. and want to create problems for. Uh, the uh, the East Africa communities. Finally, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, Foreign Minister, you talked about the refugee from Yemen posing a security threat to Somalia. What do you mean by that? I never said that the refugee refugee from Yemen pose a security threat. I said refugees who are coming back, and here uh, uh, both from the Dab and from uh, Yemen, there's a good story to tell. Right. People are running to Somalia now. They're not running away from Somalia. I think that's a good thing to to point out. But I've never said that the refugees, Somalis who are coming back, will pose a threat. No, there are elements, there are bad elements of Yemenis, Somalis, Al-Qaeda related, Al-Shabaab related, who might slip in back into Somalia and to the Horn of Africa and, and, and bring a threat. And that's what I what I said. Will your country be prepared to handle the, those threats? We 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 always uh, we are a country coming out of a war. We are we will do our best, but we have partners also who have an interest in the stabilization and the uh, and and the peacefulness of uh, uh, of the of the East and Horn of Africa. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.